The South Dakota Science and Technology Authority was established by the South Dakota Legislature in 2004 to take on the ownership of the former Homestead Gold Mine and turn it into the Sanford Underground Research Facility, or SURF. It's a very deep site, close to 8,000 feet deep. We have 370 miles of tunnels and a number of different areas that have already been excavated for science base and we have room to grow and to be able to go deeper over time. Right now we have 30 different experiments active at SURF. Our two main campuses uh, existing today are on the 4850 foot level, but there are a, a number of other elevations that are attractive to non-physics groups. Uh, biology, geology, and engineering activities are taking place on half a dozen or more elevations at our facility. We are a dedicated science facility, and that's extremely important. There's no competing interests from a mining company, restrictions on where you can go, what the number of shifts you can have underground, the number of people, by and large. So yeah, having a dedicated facility is extremely important. We need to go deep underground because we need to be shielded from cosmic rays so that we can actually reach the precision that we would like for the neutrino oscillation experiments and for the detecting the interaction of neutrinos. So DUNE stands for the Deep Underground Neutrino Experiment. We start out with one of the more powerful proton beams in the world at Fermi National Laboratory. We use that to generate a beam of neutrinos which then travels about 1300 kilometers through the Earth to another very large set of detectors located a mile underground at the Sanford Underground Research Facility Several things make Dune unique. First of all, we use a very broadband beam. It covers a large range in energies. We also use a baseline for the neutrino oscillations of about 1,300 kilometers, which is twice as long as the uh, previous experiments. And the advanced technology being used makes this a one-of-a-kind experiment. Like all the other experiments underground, uh, we and our measurements are hampered by the, uh, the cosmic ray background. CASPER stands for Compact Accelerator System for Performing Astrophysical Research and uh, utilizing a small-scale accelerator to replicate the nuclear reactions that happen inside uh, the stars. We have a lot of important projects coming up looking at uh, the cosmological lithium-7 problem from the nuclear physics point, generally looking into the uh, nuclear synthesis of the absolutely first generation of stars, which is now very important due to uh, the upcoming measurements of the James Webb Space Telescope. And we'll also look into uh, NOVA nuclear synthesis. There appears to be more mass in the universe than we can see. And we think it may be made up of, you know, wimps or some form of, of, of particle born in the early Big Bang. And the Lux Zeppelin experiment is designed to search for wimps with sensitivity sort of orders of magnitude beyond what we've been able to do previously. And it's essentially a, um, a giant titanium thermos flask filled with 10 tons of xenon, seven of which we use to look for tiny rare interactions of these wimps that might happen in that in that target volume buried uh, a mile underground in the um, Black Hills of South Dakota. So the rock overburden and the, the depth of it already is you know, amongst the, the, the leading in the world. But then when you stack on the, the teams, the infrastructure support, everything else puts it as one of the leading labs in the world. So we're really privileged and lucky to be there. We were fortunate enough to get $13 million from the state of South Dakota two years ago to be able to develop this expansion drift really to, to facilitate the build out of future caverns. For us to be a, a world leader, we, be, we need to be able to host future experiments. So the expansion is a big part of that. Our K-12 education and outreach program is a big part of being a world leading lab. And also a year ago, we kicked off a new Institute for Underground Science at SURF. And so we have a definite vision of where we wanna grow over the next few years to achieve that. The Institute was born because of the need for the science community to, to have a physical location for collaboration. So it's a place for scientists, for educators, for the community to come together and work on interdisciplinary collaboration. So it's not just physics, but it's geology and microbiology and engineering. So the programs span from very short term programs to extended year round programs. And they focus on the scientists from different stages of the careers. 
who brings everybody together for those extended collaborative workshops. We have hopes and dreams to install uh, a dilution refrigerator, set up a cryogenic user facility that will support uh, a number of uh, research avenues, including low mass dark matter, quantum sensors, possibly attract R&D and quantum computing to continue uh, cutting edge research important to the underground science community. SURF has a real estate footprint unequaled by any other underground lab anywhere in the world. And that's, that's really a great support to the multidisciplinary research that we've attracted to our facility. We provide unique attributes across our footprint that are important to those physics, geology, biology, and engineering groups looking to do the best science in the world.